Hello, I'm Lee and welcome to iMine Blocks. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the best NVIDIA GPU miner for mining Ravenquen. So I've done all the hard work for you. I've tested each of these three most popular Ravenquen miners, and I'm gonna share the results with you so you guys can just get onto this and get the best performance possible from your GPU mining rigs. Okay, so let's uh, jump into it. So for the testing rig, I just use my personal machine. So that includes a Gigabyte Aris GTX 1080 Ti. I use stock core and memory clocks. The stock power limit as well, just set to 100%. The only thing that I did change was a custom fan profile, just to make sure that the GPU didn't thermal throttles and keep the temperatures under 70 degrees. But otherwise, generally all stock. Here's a look at the software that was used for the mining rig. So it's Windows 10 Pro, 64-bit of course. The NVIDIA drivers were 419.67. The T-Rex version that I'm using is 0.9.2 and it's the CUDA 10 version. For Z-Enemy, it's 1.28 and also the CUDA 10 version. And the Crypto Dredge was 0.17.0 for some reason. Again, also the CUDA 10 version of each one of those softwares. So that's the software that we're gonna be using for these uh, test and benchmarks. Okay, so here you can see each of the miners uh, starting up from uh, a basic start. So on the left side, we have the T-Rex miner in the middle, it's the Z enemy, and on the right hand side, it's the Crypto Dredge miner. So initially when I was gonna uh, provide this video to you guys or set it up for you, what I wanted to do is like a 10 minute kind of side-by-side -side benchmark and comparison. But as you guys are probably aware, uh, the difference with when mining uh, Ravenquen versus other algorithms is that there's quite a lot of fluctuation in the hash rate. So instead of it just mining them, you know, you're getting a consistent kind of performance of 30 mega hashes or something. The way the algorithm works, and because it's quite a, a mix and match of uh, multi algorithms, what you find is that you get a very varied um, hash rate um, on your mining hardware. So it's very difficult to um, provide you guys with a side by side comparison. So in this one, what I'm doing is I'll just show you how the, you know, the miners start up and what they look like. Um, but also I'll be showing you a, a pool comparison as well over a 12 hour period, giving you a much uh, better insight into the uh, mining performance when using each one of these mining softwares. So rather than just looking at the mining console and saying, you know, it mines at 20 mega hashes or 30 mega hashes, I'll also share the results with you at the pool side so you can get a much better understanding of, uh, you know, what you're likely to expect in terms of your mining um, hash rates. But here you can see it's been running just for a couple of minutes. You can see the, like I say, the T-Rex on the left-hand side and further underneath, I've also got the tech power up so you can see the power consumption. Um, typically across all three uh, miners, the power consumption is very similar. Normally uh, around about 245 watts, something like that, even though the hash rate is quite uh, varied, uh, the power consumption is about the same for each of the miners. So that's um, worth noting. Here you can see that the miners have been running for approximately nine minutes. So I just wanted to show you very quickly just what each of the mining consoles looks like after it's been running and kind of connected to the pool, um, started accepting some workloads and uh, sending and receiving shares, just so you can kind of get a, a brief look at what each one of the mining co console looks like and you know comparing one to the other, which provides you with more or less information. Uh, for you guys, what you can generally see is that they all pretty much provide the same sort of software. So there's not real any big significant difference in terms of the display and they'll prov provide exactly what you need so let's take a look at the pools when mining on the pools and like i say i've done uh, those 12 hour tests for you so let's uh, take a closer look and see how it looks when these miners have been running for 12 hours so here you can see the t-rex miner console and you can see that it's been running for a little over 12 hours you can see the total number of accepted shares is uh, 1756 and you can also see the average uh, hash rates that it's reporting um, up towards the top it's 35 and down towards the bottom it's 33.3 so you can see that sort of uh, average um, hash rate variance next taking a look at the z enemy minor console again running for a little tool over 12 hours and again you can see the total number of accepted shares is uh, 2002. Uh, the other thing to kind of mention is the stability of these miners um, all of the miners had a very good stability overall and all managed to run for the full course without any um, crashing or resets anything like that so that was um, a good thing to take note of 
And next we've got the Crypto Dredge mining console. So the important thing to note here was that I wasn't able to get the full 12 hours when mining with this miner. Unfortunately, there wasn't anything wrong with the miner, but I was off to uh, CoinFest and I didn't have time to complete the test as required. So I only managed to get uh, around about nine hours on the Crypto Dredge mining console, but as you'll see uh, from the poor results, um, that was enough to kind of make um, a good enough conclusion. Okay, here you can see the T-Rex miner on the Raven mining pool and running for 12 hours. So it started at uh, 10 o'clock at night and finished at 10 o'clock in the morning. If you kind of imagine a line running from left to right, what you can see is um, almost kind of following that uh, orange line is you get uh, an average hash rate. And um, I would estimate that it was around 35 mega hashes. So that's um, kind of our basis or, or base uh, benchmark. Next, you can see the Z enemy mining performance. So ignore the left hand side for this one because that was a T-Rex miner and focus on the right hand side. You can see after that um, 10 o'clock uh, point or the midway point, you can see that um, the mining hash rate does drop down. Um, not massively, but you can definitely see a significant drop overall. So then that continues on for the next 12 hour sort of period. And you can see that it is quite a bit lower and um, probably around the, the 32 mega hash uh, point for when using the Z enemy miner. Taking a look at the Crypto Dredge miner on the pool, again, focusing on the right hand side. What you can see is if you look at the hash rate at the 30 point or the 30 mega hashes on the left hand side and then sort of follow that line through, you can see that the Crypto Dredge miner, although there's a lot of variance up and down, it pretty much follows that exact kind of 30 mega hash line right until the very end where the miner doesn't report properly uh, because it's not enough. Um, it's not a full hour of reporting time there. So ignore that spike on the end. Okay, so considering the information that is provided to us from the mining consoles and then taking a closer look for a longer period of time on the mining pools, these are the performance hash rates that I've kind of uh, come up with or that I would expect you guys to get as well. Like I said, this is all using stock frequencies. Um, so with T-Rex, it's a 1% dev fee and you can expect 35 mega hashes. Z enemy, again, 1% dev fee and 32 mega hashes. Crypto Dredge, 1% dev fee and 30 mega hashes. So if you've got similar hardware to me and on similar stock clocks, these are kind of the results that you should guys uh, should expect to receive with your own hardware. Okay, so it's worth pointing out this was not a super scientific based test because I tested each of the different miners at different points in time. So that's gonna give us some variance in our results. Ideally, you would have three identical miners mining uh, three identical things at exactly the same time. But unfortunately, that was not possible for me to do that. The other point is with the Crypto Dredge miner, I couldn't get that full 12 hour mining time. And it is possible that the Crypto Dredge could have performed much better in those last couple of hours versus what it did previously. Um, from what I've tested, I don't really believe that is the case, but it's worth mentioning. Uh, the other thing to mention as well is the power consumption. I didn't record it through each of the tests. I can only report back from what GPU Z was reporting back to me. And it does seem that the miners used um, typically about the same sort of power usage overall, which is roughly around about 245 watts uh, for each of the miners when when mine and a raven coin with my hardware so there's just some um, extra details to make a note of or, or bear in mind and um, consider okay so you've made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate the time that you've taken to watch this video and hopefully you've got some value from it that's what's most important to me is that you guys can watch this content and use it and, and make good use of it if you did like it please give it a like if you'd like to add something then please you know good or bad leave it in the comments area i'll be sure to check out your comments i do read them and i try and respond um, if i can and do have the time and um, if you're not a subscriber but do like all this type of content then please consider subscribing because i do put out content like this on a regular basis and it'll be uh, great to have you as part of our community okay thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next video